Hello YouTube, welcome to new episode of Synth News, the format we summarize all the hardware, software and IO synthesizer news. This week I have 6 news for you. Let's start with the Gotham Polyspace. It's a new synthesizer, sampler with analog filters, effects and a sequencer. It features a 4 voice polyphonic multi timbre engine with 2 oscillators per voice, 2 analog filters per voice, a ring modulator and it comes with a lot of effects like pitch shifter, FM, resonator, granulator, different delays, reverb and more. And also it features two uh, inputs and outputs. And for a price of 1,400 euro you can buy this device. And for a price of 1,700 euro you can buy it with four CV in and CV outs. What I think about it, it's a very interesting concept because you can build a lot of nice sounds with a synthesizer and sampler combination. So you can import own samples, combine them with analog synthesis and then brings a lot of sound design options. Also cool is that you have here an analog core with analog filters and you combine it with a digital core. So it's really cool device and a compact size. Negative a bit or my criticism is the price. For 1,400 euro you receive here this nice device but you can also buy a different other device like electron stuff or other synthesizers. But here you get a synthesizer and sampler, so this is not real, quite rare in the market. So I hope a lot that the developer will sell a lot, that he can live from this activity. And I hope also a lot that other companies will produce such device with more experimental character or more sound design options. Only synthesizers are great, but I would like to see both uh, interesting side, a sample and a synthesizer in device. So I hope a lot for this developer. The next topic is the RFB MBS 100 synthesizer. It's a new mono bus synthesizer inspired by the Soviet era synths. It features a hybrid analog digital synthesis core with two oscillators, an analog filter, two envelopes, an LFO and a MIDI interface with in and MIDI outs and MIDI in and MIDI true. You can buy it now for 450 euro and in my opinion it's a cool concept because it combines digital synthesis with analog filters. It is like an, uh, this hybrid stuff is not so uh, a lot available in the market. It's You can find it in the new Novation Peak synthesizer where digital oscillators meets analog filters and also here. And I'm really I uh, love this concept because you get a lot of new sound timbres with this uh, nice combination. There exist a lot of analog uh, synthesizers where everything is analog, but I really like also to see more stuff like that where you have digital oscillators with a combination of an analog filter and maybe also analog effects or also digital effects. So more in hybrid stuff like before for the polygase where sampler meets uh, synthesizer. So also for this developer, I hope a lot that he will sell um, also a lot of devices that he can still produce uh, much more other devices with the same philosophy. So big thanks for this and hopefully we'll see more sound, sound examples from this device.
The next topic is the Vegens Sound VPS Avenger Synthesizer Update 1.2. Now it features a granular synthesis function where you can granulate uh, sample content and create big granular spheres. Then it, they also uh, include some new presets with the granular function and also updated uh, the factory library with new sounds. They fix also many bugs and you can also import and export now MIDI files from the drum sequencer and some other features also included now. In my opinion, it's a great update because I love a lot of granular sounds and granular is a technique where you can create a lot of great soundscapes and drones and will make this device even more interesting. Before it was only a sampler with a wavetable synthesis, but now with the granular engine, they transform this entire instrument in a new device. So really cool free update for the Vegend Sounds Avenger and I'm looking forward to check out this synth. I don't know yet when I can, but I hope I can test it very soon. The next, the next topic is the Model Electronics Craft Written. It's a new 8-track drum percussive sampler with a 16-step sequencer. It comes in the same format as the Craft synth and it's also in the same concept that you assemble it but you don't solder it. You can import your 16-bit mono samples and you have different parameters to transform the samples. Unfortunately, what I uh, don't love a lot or they don't release uh, yet the informations, uh, the, the sampler doesn't include some effects. I would really love to see some digital effects like delay, a reverb, a bit crusher or other effects. And to get access to these all parameters, you have access on the front panel. But if you want the deep functions, you can download for free a PC, a Mac, Android, and app, an iOS app to control to get access to these all parameters. So in my opinion, it's a really great new release, and it makes really the concurrence to the Cork Volca sample because they have a similar approach with importing 16-bit. Uh, samples to the engine and to sequence them. So we don't have here the price for it, but I hope it's still in the same price range as the models craft sent. So in my opinion, it's a great new device with a bit of different um, idea of making sounds. Hopefully cheap and hopefully I can test it for you. So stay tuned. The next, the, our next topic is the Roland D03. Five synthesizer. Roland introduced on the 909 day, then Roland T50 in the boutique format. It's based on digital circuit behavior, not analog circuit behavior. This, it's the same technology, but with this technology, they can emulate digital synthesizers. All the original presets, all the best known presets are included, and also they pr produce some new presets for this new synthesizer. New in this version is a 64 step sequencer and arpeggiato. It's also battery powered or USB powered like all other boutique synthesizers. In my opinion, it's a nice new synthesizer, but nothing where I say I must buy it. Because I say they don't release now something completely new. It's an old technology made in a new box available to more young people or maybe to older people who always want this synthesizer. I really want to see more synthesizers from, from Korg or Roland with a more innovative character. Now we have here more a, let's say, an old technology and a new box. It's like a rock band. So I really, I read yesterday a nice comment on Facebook. Someone said, it's like a rock band. We toured for years and years and years with the same sounds or with the same tracks. So for this is also because Roland trees so many boutique synthesizers with old technology or old sound characters, but they don't release something completely new. I really love the JDXR because it was analog and digital, and after they come not a lot. So I hope a lot for the NAMP show next year, where you can see maybe a new sampler or more interesting products than this one. But the product is really nice, but I would like to see more innovative products. And it will be available for free for $90 very soon. And I read also that they will produce 7,000 units of this, uh, this new synth in 2017.
There are no information yet how many they will produce in 2018, but I can imagine that the concept is still the same, that we, they will produce it only in limited quantities. So for me, it's not a big highlight, but, but a cool, cool to see that this device is again on the market. Last but not least, for the last product, we have the Sugarbytes Apparillo. I seen yesterday on Instagram that, Sugar, that the Dr. Motte, a techno producer from Germany, teased a new synthesizer from Sugarbytes. It's a for PC and Mac currently, but there are no information yet for Ares. It, the concept is to morphing through different parameters or different pre presets. I don't know yet the concept of it, but if you, if you see the... Um, the GUI you see you can morph through different states. Um, it would be really cool to see this synthesizer also for iOS because the concept of the iOS is um, working with touch and this synth is really cool also maybe to use it with the touch because you can morph through different presets, through sounds or maybe oscillators or filters. So I'm really looking forward to hear more after about the synth. On the current state I can say more about this. So. We'll see soon what they will produce and will release. So stay tuned. This was everything from this week. I hope you enjoyed this new video. And if you enjoyed this video, please leave a positive thumb and a subscription for more future videos. Big thanks for watching and for your continued support. I hope to see you again in one of my next videos. Bye.